Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Ask an Action Coach. We have been discussing uh, the book Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, and we are on step number eight towards riches, mm -hmm. and that is persistence. Yes. Tell One of my favorites. Persistence. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so persistence really, right, is the first step to persistence is really knowing what the goal is and knowing that your goal excites you. If you create a goal, it should excite you. Mm -hmm. The idea is the goal points you in the direction you're headed and everything that you do or 99% of the things you do should be uh, focused on getting to that goal. The big question is, what happens when something happens in the middle, right? So as an example, in sales, mm -hmm. you, you pick up the phone and you make lots of calls and all of a sudden you get somebody who either gets a little angry, maybe yells at you, says no, says get out of here, whatever it is, um, um, that can derail people, right? So the idea there is to just learn from it. Remember, it's not personal. They're not saying it to you personally because the second they hang up the phone, they don't even know who you are. They don't remember your name. They know nothing. They just, they were just in the middle of something or whatever, but they don't even remember who you are. So it's not personal. The big thing is, is to get right back up on the horse. I remember when my, my sister and I were teenagers and my sister got in a car accident and my dad went to pick her up and then made her drive home so that she, cause she was a, you know, so that she could get back up on the horse and, and keep going versus just stopping and then being afraid to drive again. Mm. So um, that kind of persistence is, is huge. And so really where it, it, shows up is in sales. I know, you know, Joseph, you being in sales, you know, how often have you had to just kind of get yourself back together and move on? Well, I think almost, I mean, every day is a new day and a new opportunity. So if I don't if I, if I didn't hit, for instance, a KPI yesterday, today is my opportunity to hit my KPIs and maybe mm -hmm. double them. Um, I also measure the activities that it takes to hit my KPIs. And so if I did all of the activities that I normally would do, I can feel good about that. Yeah. Um, sometimes though, like you said, you know, you get off of the, off of one call and you just have to get, make the next call and, and it's funny when you talked about somebody yelling at you or something like that on the phone, it's happened before, but I tend to immediately think it's not me, it's them. Mm -hmm. You know, they're, they're not yelling at me. They're yelling about something else that's going on in their life right now. Mm -hmm. and so, so often I just try to take that energy, um, process it and use it to my own better ability. And so take that energy and put it right into the next call. So excellent. Yeah. And that's a great tip, right? It's not about you, it's about them, yep. right? It's something going on with them. <laughs> so the, the, the step to riches is persistence. So if you hit a roadblock, get up, do the activities necessary, gain the momentum because the more activities, the more momentum, the more results. Yep. And that's just really the bottom line. I love your example about your dad making your sister get back in and drive because mm -hmm. the things that we need to do to be persistent are the things that we know how to do. And we mm -hmm. just continue to do the things we know how to do. It's one step in front of the other to get to the top of the mountain. If you stop, you stop. Right. Yep. Exactly. So go out there. And if you hit a roadblock, keep going yep. because you could be three feet from the summit. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jackie. If you want more information or you have a question you'd like to ask an action coach, you can click on the link above. We will see you next time.